Hello everyone, my name is Natalia Lisina. Welcome to Biodance in the House. Today we will learn about um, Russian dance. and experience the Russian folk dance. This is the dance with very rich history, which began with ancient Rus, middle of 9th century. Russian dances started as a mass popular dances, festivities and joyful big round dances, Kharavode. The dances was a part of life. Any holiday, celebration, market, festival was not without a folk dancing. Russian folk dance is a joyful dance with love and humor, active movements, including turns, jumps, tricks, and lyric movements, with very bright festive costumes. I, I brought some of the uh, costumes to show you. So this is, a, <laughs> this is a guy from a village. Yeah, so you can see how men was dressing up in the Russian village. They have a long shirt, pants, a belt, and this is probably like a, a little decoration for winter, and hat and uh, boots. So this is uh, a woman Russian costume, more um, probably stage version. They didn't um, wear that kind of festive uh, costumes in the villages, but just a simple skirt and um, uh, maybe a dress. And a part of the uh, costume was our, a scarf. So like the woman put it on the shoulder, you know, you can dance with a scarf, you can move it, um, tuck it in and out. So I will show you later. And uh, the music, dance, costumes was a part of the life. I think people back in the day were enjoying all and experiencing all colors of life um, through dance. So Russian dances symbolizes, mirrors a character and soul of Russian man. Open, kind um, soul. Russian folk dances uh, divided in three dances. It's called Pliaska, Kharavod and Kadril. Pliaska is more improvisational dance. So every region has this, uh, their own plask. And uh, if you can uh, imagine for yourself a hip hop battle, so it's like a plaska improvisational battle with the folk movements. If one dancer came out and showing uh, um, uh, a few movements and the second dancer need to repeat exactly like that, and the second ca ca came in the circle, uh, showing a movement and the third doesn't need to repeat exactly like that. So it's uh, always a competition between dancers. Or they can dance um, until they're tired. And who left on stage is a winner. Um, Haravod, it's a second type. Haravod is a circle dance. If you, maybe you know the famous um, uh, ensemble Berezka. It's a, it's, the translation is a bird tree from Moscow. They glide on stage. They, all they do just walk and glide and walk and glide. All of the, how, um, how many, maybe 30, 30, 20, 30 dancers on stage, a woman with a long skirt and see them only glide. But it's a, it's a, a beautiful picture. Not only circle, it can be different patterns uh, from circle to the line to zigzag and again to the circle, uh, circle in the circle. So the Haravot moves <coughs> when how sounds moves from left to right, always. Kadril, a third movement, a third uh, uh, dance. It came from uh, um, from uh, influences from Europe when the, uh, uh, Peter the the first opened a window to Europe. You know, they had, uh, Russian folks had exposure to different dances and um, Kadril came um, from French Kadril. 
and also had influence from Plaska and uh, ballroom dancing like waltz. Uh, so it's a mix of um, dances with also a very, um, very, uh, very different spatial patterns. And it's a communication. It's all uh, like uh, often dance in with a partner. And all of these three types um, of example, three types of uh, dances, Plaska, Haravot, Kadril, you can find in links below this video and uh, um, watch it in your own time. Russian dance was performed with singing, with light music, with folk instruments. It also was connected to different religious holidays. Unfortunately, we can only notice a stage version of Russian folk dance now, but the elements are the same. And today we will learn a couple of elements of Russian folk dance and put it and create uh, create and learn the dance with the music. So I want to show you first, I want to show you how we will bow. So follow me, uh, find a space in your room. Imagine we're standing in the field, in an open field, enjoying the weather, grass, the sky, and we will um, walk forward, uh, one, two, three, together. We're gonna go from here, we're gonna open to your first position, uh, first position like in front of you, your arm, uh, right arm in front of you, you open to the side, and the head, uh, the hand is facing upwards, now, you put your hand to your heart, look up the sky, the bow, and say uh, some greetings to the uh, land, and come back. So again, uh, one, two, three, four. In front, to the side, to your heart, to the sky, Bow forward, touch the ground, and up, up, up. So we'll learn a second uh, movement. It's a very, very simple uh, beginning of the dance. So it will be from the, after the bow, we're gonna walk forward. And uh, first I will introduce you how the hands, uh, the arms will go. In front of you, open up to the side, and again, uh, back in front of you and to your waist. So we're gonna go walk forward and uh, three together, walk back three together, big arms. Uh, one, two, three, together, arms going back. One, two, three, together. You can also uh, do it with a partner, you know, facing partner. When they go, I'm gonna face Missy. And one, two, three, together. Uh, one, two, three, together. Let's do a bow facing each other. Uh, one, two, three, together. Here you go, to the side, to your heart. The sky, touch the ground. Up, 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 up. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> So um, let's uh, do the second movement. If you keep um, keep following me, it's very very simple. So it's called yolichka. It's um, um, let's see, look like Christmas tree, and we will move. Focus on your feet. We're gonna move. Uh, uh, the weight will be on your heels. You're gonna move your toes, and now the weight is on your toes, the heels the toes, the heels, and back. The heels, the toes, the heels, the toes. Again, uh, toes, heels, toes, heels, and heels. Toes, heels, toes. And uh, we will spiral with your torso and do a little uh, wave motion. 
very live lyrical arts. So do the other direction. So if your feet are going to the right, your torso and your arms going to the left. And one, two, three, and four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna low, uh, now lower, lower down. So you bend your knees and the same time, you're doing the same time, just on the spot. A uh, one, a uh, two, a uh, three, a uh, four, a uh, five, a uh, six, seven, eight. Let's do two down, two up, two down, two up. A uh, one, a uh, two, a uh, three, a uh, four, a uh, five, a uh, six, a uh, seven, eight. Let's combine uh, three movements. Front, back, front, back, yogachka, and the movement um, uh, um, on, the, on the spot. So we're gonna one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, smile, five, six, seven, eight. A uh, one, a uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lower palm, palm up, up, lower, lower, up, up. Let's combine it with music. your hands on the waist so with your right leg you will touch the the toes touch the heel and then say one two three um, and again the same thing before left the toe the heel and one two three now it's a little tricky but we will start the toe, the heel, the toe close to you, the heel far from you, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. So, so let's do it again. Uh, one, two, uh, one, two, three. Uh, one, two, uh, one, two, three. Again, uh, one, two, three, four, a uh, one, two, three. A uh, one, two, three. Very nice. So it's the con continuous. From here, we have a little uh, called pripadanya. So on the on the right, we will step and put weight on the right, right. And with uh, with your left leg, you're gonna rise on your toe, and again, uh, weight to the and accent all this down. Weight to the right, weight to the right, weight to the right, weight to the right. With a turn, it goes so one, two, three, four. So for, for now, in this dance, we will do three only. One, two, three, one, two, three. So three claps. Now let's see, we will face the mirror, the back wall, the window, and back again. So like three, uh, four sides. Uh, forward, mirror, uh, back wall, and, and the window. So again, okay. window, or okay, mirror, back, window, here, one, two, three. Let's do it, um, and, to, and to the left. With the arms, it's the same. You open up to the side 
and closing back. So I think we're gonna open up. Let, let me do it. Oh, one, two, three. One, two, three. So you're doing three prepadania back here and three plus. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, to the left. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Very nice. So let's do it from the beginning with that addition and with a bow. So let's see. divide on three. Let's do our, uh, the, uh, the middle, the back wall, the, let's do the corners. So we're going to face the corner, face the corner, face the front. So it will be easy for you. Face the corner, face the corner, and the front, and three flaps. So it's a little slow. One, two, three, one, two, three, like that, yeah. We're gonna continue. So the next movement is, um, so we will step to the side, to the third, step to the side, all uh, on the plie, bending your knees, and on the heel, ended up on the heel. To the left, step, to your third position. So like your leg, your heel is in the middle of your foot. So again, you step to the right, place it back, the heel is in the middle, step to the side, and end it up on the heel. Right leg is bending on the plie, you're facing forward and smiling. To the left, step, third, step, heel. Again, step, third, step, heel. Step, third, step, heel. Now it's a little tricky, but we're gonna be rise up. So you're gonna stop, rise up. On the tiptoe, your left leg is back on the third. You step to the side again, and you lower yourself down. And step up. Up, up, lower, with arms, on the flat, and on, on, on your um, right back. So the first one is on the flat, and with arms opening to the side, uh, one, two, three, four, closing arms, one, two, three, four, on the right back, keeps arms here, our uh, one, two, three, low, up high, 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 low. So we'll use a different music and we will travel. So we'll use the back wall and really conquer this movement. So from here, if you have a space, from one wall to another. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, sorry, eight. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So when you're going on the flat, the arms are opening. When you're in relevant, the arms are staying here. Yeah, sorry, my fault. So one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Stay arms. Stay arms. And when you, if you want to travel, so make sure you're stepping a little forward, not exactly to the side, but a little forward. Put the, put the music on and we will travel. continuing learning the phrase so it will be part of a phrase so after when you have a circle one two three uh, one two three I'm gonna move to the side so one two three here one two three here one two three here one two three it's confusing yeah but I mean, it's, it's your choice. You can really use your arms in both times and put it in your waist. Or you just, yeah, don't use your arms at all. Um, so, yeah, let's do our whole dance with a previous music, adding this element. Veryovichka, it's a rope dance, mostly it's a, a, a man version, but women can um, perform it as well. So we'll learn about Veryovichka. So the right leg's leg going, uh, uh, the kind of touching the left and the, at the knee to the side, and you are placing it back from front, left goes, from front to back, from front to back, from front to back. Now it's with a little hop and a plie. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a little bit. So you're staying on your toes and your heel is off the floor and you have a bent leg. So you are, um, you wear your weight is on the leg that is bent and um, the, the heel is off the ground. So right leg goes along the left leg and back. So coordinate with it together. So one, two, three, and let uh, the leg is on the, which is on the ground. It's a little way hop, hop forward, hop forward, hop forward. So we actually doing in in the spot, and we're not rising up and down in the same level in the plie. And let's practice it. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. So we're gonna step step at the end. 
Now with left leg. Alan. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At the end. So that one is a next movement, a rope dance in our phrase. And I want to give you the, the following movement as well. So we will run in the circle. So place your hands over here again and open up to your front and to the side. Very wide hands. And hands, are, oh yeah, the arms is touching from the middle of your back. So you're thinking about reaching to the walls as you're touching the walls. So from here, after Virovichka, we will go in the circle with Missy. So I, I, in your, um, it's it, not on your flat, but the heels up a little from the ground, and we will just glide like Virovichka is doing, ensemble Virovichka. So we, will, we are kind of running, jogging, yeah. And on the eight, and the first, Face it, face each other, and at the end we will circle in the V, arms in the V, and we will do our. Uh, we know it was the it was the same movement that we did before. That's called pripadani, but pripadani now with arms in the V. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay. Yeah, and that's <laughs> the end of dance. So uh, we do perform with music from beginning to the end and think about it at the end, okay? Yeah. You enjoy it and you learn a little bit about the Russian culture, Russian life through dance. Thank you.